The guppy, also known as million fish and rainbow fish, is one of the world's most widely distributed tropical fish and one of the most popular freshwater aquarium fish species. It is a member of the family Poeciliae and, like almost all American members of the family, is live bearing. Guppies originate from Northeast South America, but have been introduced to many environments and are now found all over the world. They are highly adaptable and thrive in many different environmental and ecological conditions. Male guppies, which are smaller than females, have colorful ornamental caudal and dorsal fins. Wild guppies generally feed on a variety of food sources, including algae and aquatic insect larvae. Guppies are used as a model organism in the fields of ecology, evolution, and behavioral studies. Guppies are native to Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados, Brazil, Guyana, Jamaica, the Netherlands Antilles, Trinidad, and Tobago, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and Venezuela. However, guppies have been introduced to many different countries on every continent except Antarctica. Sometimes this has occurred accidentally, but most often as a means of mosquito control. The guppies were expected to eat the mosquito larvae and help slow the spread of malaria, but in many cases, these guppies have had a negative impact on native fish populations. Field studies reveal that guppies have colonized almost every freshwater body accessible to them in their natural ranges, especially in the streams located near the coastal fringes of mainland South America. Although not typically found there, guppies also have tolerance to brackish water and have colonized some brackish environments. They tend to be more abundant in smaller streams and pools than in large, deep, or fast-flowing rivers. They also are capable of being acclimated to full salt water as well as being used to cycle saltwater aquariums like their molly cousins. Guppies exhibit sexual dimorphism. While wild-type females are gray, in body color, males have splashes, spots, or stripes that can be any of a wide variety of colors. The size of guppies vary, but males are typically 1.5 to 3.5 centimeters or 0.6 to 1.4 inches long, while females are 3 to 6 centimeters or 1.2 to 2.4 inches long. A variety of guppy strains are produced by breeders through selective breeding, characterized by different colors, patterns, shapes, and sizes of fins, such as snakeskin and grass varieties. Many domestic strains have morphological traits that are very distinct from the wild-type antecedents. Males and females of many domestic strains usually have larger body size and are much more lavishly ornamented than their wild-type antecedents. One major factor that affects wild guppy senescence patterns is the mortality rate caused by predation. Guppies from high predation environments suffer a high extrinsic mortality rate because they are more likely to be killed by predators. Female guppies from high predation environments experience a significant increase in mortality at six months of age, while those from low predation environments do not suffer increased mortality until 16 months. However, guppies from high predation environments were found to have longer lifespans because their reproductive lifespans are longer. No significant difference is seen in post-reproductive lifespans. In addition to senescence pattern, resource availability and density also matter in regulation of guppy populations. Guppies reduce their fecundity and reproductive allocation in response to scarce food. When food is abundant, they increase brood size. Differential reproductive allocation can be the cause of seasonality of life history characteristics in some guppy populations. For example, during the wet season from May to December, guppies in the northern range of Trinidad reduce their investment in reproduction regardless of predation level, possibly in response to decreased food resources. Population density also matters in simpler environments because higher intraspecific competition causes a decrease in reproductive rate and somatic growth rate, and a corresponding increase in juvenile mortality rate due to cannibalism. It was confirmed that in low predation environments, guppy populations are in part regulated by density. Guppies have the mating system called polyandry, where females mate with multiple males. Multiple mating is beneficial for males because the male's reproductive success is directly related to how many times they mate. The cost of multiple mating for males is very low because they do not provide material benefit to the females or parental care to the offspring. Conversely, multiple mating can be disadvantageous for females because it reduces foraging efficiency and increases the chances of predation and parasitic infection. However, females gain some potential benefits from multiple mating. For example, 
females that mate multiply are found to be able to produce more offspring in shorter gestation time, and their offspring tend to have better qualities such as enhanced schooling and predator evasion abilities. Female guppies mate again more actively and delay the development of a brood when the anticipated second mate is more attractive than the first male. Experiments show that remating females prefer a novel male to the original male or a brother of the original male with similar phenotypes. Females' preference for novel males in remating can explain the excessive phenotypic polymorphism in male guppies. Inbreeding ordinarily has negative fitness consequences, inbreeding depression, and as a result species have evolved mechanisms to avoid inbreeding. Inbreeding depression is considered to be due largely to the expression of homozygous deleterious recessive mutations. Numerous inbreeding avoidance mechanisms operating prior to mating have been described. However, inbreeding avoidance mechanisms that operate subsequent to copulation are less well known. In guppies, a post-copulatory mechanism of inbreeding avoidance occurs based on competition between sperm of rival males for achieving fertilization. In competitions between sperm from an unrelated male and from a full sibling male, a significant bias in paternity towards the unrelated male was observed. Guppies have many predators, such as larger fish and birds, in their native range. Guppies' small bodies and the bright coloration of males make them easy prey, and like many fish, they often school together to avoid predation. Schooling is more favored by evolution in populations of guppies under high predation pressure, exerted either by predator type or predator density. Coloration of guppies also evolves differentially in response to predation. Male guppies that are brighter in color have an advantage in mating as they attract more females in general, but they have a higher risk of being noticed by predators than duller males. Male guppies evolve to be more dull in color and have fewer, smaller spots under intense predation both in wild and in laboratory settings. Female guppies in a high predation environment also evolve to prefer brightly colored males less, often rejecting them. When guppies detect a predator, their irises rapidly darken from silver to jet black, which draws predators to attack the guppy's head instead of their body's center of mass. Perhaps counterintuitively, this predator divertive behavior allows guppies to rapidly pivot out of the way as predators lunge where the guppy's head was. This matador like anti predator behavior was first described in guppies but may be found in other animal species with bright, attention grabbing coloration located on vital organs, such as epaulette sharks. Guppies are also host to a range of parasites, and one of these, Gyrodactylus turnbulli, has been used as a model system for studying host parasite interactions. Recent work on this has shown that the interaction between exposure to chronic anthropogenic noise and G. turnbulli can decrease guppy survival. While a short burst of underwater noise has positive effects on parasite densities on the host, most likely resulting in negative fitness effects for guppies. Wild guppies feed on algal remains, diatoms, invertebrates, plant fragments, mineral particles, aquatic insect larvae, and other sources. Algal remains constitute the biggest proportion of wild guppy diet in most cases, but diets vary depending on the specific conditions of food availability in the habitat. For example, a study on wild Trinidad guppies showed that guppies collected from an oligotrophic upstream region, Upper Arapo River, mainly consumed invertebrates, while guppies from a eutrophic downstream region, Lower Takariga River, consumed mostly diatoms and mineral particles. Algae are less nutritious than invertebrates, and the guppies that feed mainly on algae have poor diets. For guppies diet preference is not simply correlated to the abundance of a particular food. Laboratory experiments confirmed that guppies show diet switching behavior, in which they feed disproportionately on the more abundant food when they are offered two food choices. The result shows that different groups of guppies have weak and variable food preference. Diet preference in guppies could be related to factors such as the presence of competitors. For example, the lower Takariga River has a larger variety of species and competition for invertebrate prey is higher, therefore the proportion of invertebrates is small in diets of those guppies. Guppies often forage in groups because they can find food more easily. Shoaling guppies spend less time and energy on anti-predatory behavior than solitary ones and spend more time on feeding. However, such behavior results in food that is found being shared with other members of the group. Studies also show when an evolutionary cost exists, Guppies that tend to shoal are less aggressive and less competitive with regards to scarce resources. Therefore, 
Shoaling is preferred in high predation regions, but not in low predation regions. When guppies with a high tendency to shoal were isolated from high predation regions and were relocated to predator-free environments, over time, they decreased their shoaling behavior, supporting the hypothesis that shoaling is less preferred in low predation environments. Guppies are highly prolific live bearers. The gestation period of a guppy is typically 21 to 30 days, varying considerably. Reproduction typically continues through the year, and the female becomes ready for conception again quickly after parturition. Male guppies, like other members of the family Poeciliidae, possess a modified tubular anal fin called the gonopodium, located directly behind the ventral fin. The gonopodium has a channel-like structure through which bundles of spermatozoa, called spermatozoogmata, are transferred to females. In corded mating, where the female shows receptive behavior following the male's courtship display, the male briefly inserts the gonopodium into the female's genital pore for internal fertilization. However, in the case of sneaky mating where copulation is forced, the male approaches the female and thrusts the gonopodium at the female's urogenital pore. Once inseminated, female guppies can store sperm in their ovaries and gonoducts, which can continue to fertilize ova up to 8 months. Because of the sperm storage mechanism, males are capable of posthumous reproduction, meaning the female mate can give birth to the male's offspring long after the male's death, which contributes significantly to the reproductive dynamics of the wild guppy populations. The guppy has been successfully hybridized with various species of molly, Poecilia latipina or P. vilifera, for example, male guppy and female molly. However, the hybrids are always male and appear to be infertile. The guppy has also been hybridized with the Endler's live bearer, Poecilia wing A, to produce fertile offspring, with the suggestion that, despite physical and behavioral differences, Endlers may represent a subspecies of Poecilia reticulata rather than a distinct species. Due to the extensive selective breeding of guppies for desirable traits such as greater size and color, some strains of the fish have become less hardy than their wild counterparts. Immense inbreeding of guppies has been found to affect body size, fertility and susceptibility to diseases.